When I was 10 years old, my father died from cancer. And my father died in 30 days. He died. He was a star like that. 10 years after that, my mother died. I just started doing a lot of research on health, well, how to eat. Because nobody in my family ate right. They would always just eat anything. And then that led me into the gym. And in the gym, I found peace because it was almost like a therapy for myself. I found something that nobody could take away from me. I just took all the passion out into eating, sleeping, and training. I didn't want to go to school or anything like this because all the kids were laughing at me in school because I didn't have a father. But I had that gym, you know, and that gym taught me a discipline, taught me sacrifice, and it just taught me how to trust my decisions. I tore my chest. I snapped my tendon, tore my chest with 300 kilos bench press. You know what they said? I'll never come back. I'll never be a bodybuilder. I'll never. This happened after I got second place in my first semester. You know what happened? I was the first bodybuilder in the universe that ever came back from this and won a show. I won 23 shows after that. And it wasn't just a tear. I had major surgery. Like, I tore my pectoralis and major line and snapped my tendon in half. If I can make it through that and deal with that, I can almost do anything. Because the world said it was impossible, right? That's how you look at your situations that you're dealing with. I look at it as a challenge. It don't make sense now, but it'll make me a better person. Discipline is what it takes to be successful. Whatever it is that you want to do in life, you always have to just sacrifice. Sacrifice is the number one, the number one thing. You know, there's no secret. There's no secret. The secret lies within you. So I can tell people how I train. I can tell them what I eat and all these things. That's the boring part, you know. Anybody can train and eat, but what's driving you to do what you do in life? This is the most important thing. What drives you? Because what drives you? influence to someone else. I don't care about how big my arms is or how much I can bench press in the gym. You know, it's not about how you look, it's about connecting with someone.